Hi, I'm Russell Farnsworth with Cross Implement. I'm going to talk to you about some simple diagnostics you can do on hydraulics, CCS, and seed population. Uh, we'll start out with hydraulics. Uh, some issues I see in our markers, your markers don't work. Um, on a 16 and 24 row, you can check your switch in the center frame, make sure that it's not binding. Uh, another issue we've had is on 24 rows on the winglet switch, make sure it's not binding or the switch is good there. Also check your connections at the back of the tractor. Um, I've seen, we've had calls for uneven frames. Make sure that you rephase the system first before you call us. Um, put the planter all the way down, hold the SCV lever for another 5-10 seconds, and then raise the planter up. You might have to do this three, two or three times. Um, also check for like your rotor unit down pressure. Make sure that it, it's adjusted correctly to the metal to the outside of the frame. Um, some of the CCS problems we've had or that I've seen out in the field. Um, make sure your planter is lowered and that the SCV is in continuous detent on the frame lower. Um, make sure your return hose hasn't disengaged from the SCV. Um, Check for any kinked or pinched hoses. Um, on the CCS product delivery, uh, check the agitation motor. Make sure that the motor is turning and there's no bridging of the seed. Um, check the system for air leaks. If you have any air leaks around the seals and that, um, make sure your air volume is set correctly. And make sure there's, uh, the humidity can cause uh, big problem with this, make sure you're using the proper talc like they talked about in the, earlier in the film. Um, on population, um, if you have any population issues, you can check the radar signal. Make sure that your radar is calibrated. Clean the sensor with a brush. Uh, check for, uh, make sure you're getting a good seal to your disc on the vacuum meter. Uh, make sure you're using the right disc, that you have the right number in your monitor. Uh, make sure you're using the right vacuum setting and make sure that uh, you don't have excessive ground drive slippage. Um, those are just a few of the many problems that we come across. Uh, if you have any problems or issues, feel free to call us and we'll try to figure it out. Uh, thank you and have a good day.